this is all Kim. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about smartphones oh and their use. Now a lot of you may or, there's some of you that are battling as to whether or not you should buy a smartphone. There's other people that have a smartphone and may not use it quite so smartly. Um, because yeah, well, we, <laughs> okay. I, I don't understand the term smartphone because it, it really isn't any smarter than the one I had before. And the other one I had before I could do apps, you just didn't put them on it. Well, you know, here's the biggest challenge is if you're going out to buy phones, there's a lot of smartphones that are out there. And you see people doing all these things with their phones, and so you go, well, wait a minute. And then you're thinking, well, I don't need my phone to do that. I just want my phone to make phone calls. Unfortunately, as we found out, people don't, they no longer stress the fact that this is an LG. It is a cell phone. This is a Samsung. It is also a cell phone. 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 Hence the word phone. And they, Apple, I will tell you, has done a great job of marketing because even in the tablet market, it's iPads and tablets, or iPads and tablets, right? Yeah. And here it's iPhones and smartphones. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> or actually, they just say smartphones, but a lot of people know iPhones and Blackberries. Yeah, and which is funny is the iPhone and Blackberry are both falling out of favor. <laughs> you know, iPhone. Okay, the, uh, well, here's the problem with the iPhone. This is one type of Android. This is another type of Android. Say, uh, say, uh, say I, right here in front of us, I have one iPhone. This iPhone is the same as the other iPhone, and here is a third iPhone. They're all iPhones. They're the very, you know, there's very, very little difference in the, what you're picking up, except maybe one has a little bit more power, because all three of these things on the table, if they were iPhones, would all basically carry the same apps. Mm -hmm. Every one of them would do Actually, the that's a good, really good thing about iPhone is they do that. Whereas I think the apps for Android, there's actually there's some more updated there, apps. There's more updated, but there, there's more. Okay, there is no continuity between the apps. Okay, say this is an iPhone. This is an Android. Mm -hmm. This is a closed. This is a walled garden. garden. This is an open garden. This means anybody can design something for this. Only a few can do something for that, which is why this is starting to fade out because you, you know you can get tons of stuff for this one. Only a limited what iPhone thinks Apple only what I, Apple thinks you should have for their phone versus they don't give a darn over at the end. So depending place. on how you look at it, you may have one place to conveniently shop for all of your iPhone apps. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but um, the other way, you have more places to go shopping and you have more variety. So. Yeah, okay, there's like a neat little trick. We're going to go back once again. This is my iPhone, this is an Android. You know what this can do with this App Store that this one can't do with this App Store? What? It could turn uh, an HP tablet into an Android tablet. This cannot turn anything into a, into mm -hmm. a, into a, uh, you know, their tablet whatsoever. And this if, can. And if we've got you totally confused and you're still wondering whether you need a smartphone or not. I don't. <laughs> but there's another thing we learned out. People of my age, you know, here's, you know what a person my age uses his cell phone for? Oh, hi. You know, is that right? Okay. Thank you. And See, but, if, what, all you're, if all you're doing basically with your cell phone is talking on the phone, you don't need a smartphone. Well, I know what this can do. Okay, what's of course, may, other people may think that you need a smartphone because they want to text message you, although you don't need a smartphone to text message. I know, you know. But this one, this one has all day, daylight savings time ends. Uh, and then, let's see, all my little apps thing, let's see, messages, contacts, market, camera, phone, 3D space, browsers, application, finance, gallery, Google search. Well, a lot of these things are over on the iPhone also. But a lot of them are not on the thing. Oh, I, I, actually, let's get hold on a minute. For I'm thinking, let's go back to smartphones. Why yeah. people even want a smartphone? I don't. If you want a smartphone, you know you want a smartphone because of all the things that do that it can do. If you don't want a smartphone, maybe you're not a smartphone candidate. Okay. Maybe yeah. you don't okay. want to pay the extra for a smartphone. Okay. Why do we or, have two identical smartphones from LG? Because they're, they're matched because each one of them is also a 3D camera and, a re, and an audio recording unit. Well, that's because, see, we 
I, I didn't think anything of it because I discovered that we actually use our telephones different than other people do because we work with a lot of tech devices. Each piece of equipment we have, we want it to do something yeah. either overlapping or as a backup. Yeah. So we've seen a lot of smartphones where people are using them mainly for social networking, yeah. Facebook, Twitter. We use ours as? As, 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 as a total backup. We're going we're gonna to use this as an example. This is her, her uh, smartphone. This is our camera. Oops, the battery has went down. Oh, I forgot the recharger. So then what does that become? The, the, the camera. camera. And then we're going to do, okay, this is my audio recorder for a trade show. Oops, my batteries have ran down. What does that then become? The backup recorder. Yeah, and uh, this is my, this is my, my, my PC and I, you know, and I'm using my PC to show people uh, this material. And oops, my battery on my PC didn't last two hours like it was supposed to. It only lasted for an hour. Or there were no other outlets. And there were no other outlets. And guess what? It that, comes to here. It becomes then the, uh, the backup for everything. It's a back, it is our total. These are our backups. Absolutely. This one, the, this there shoots uh, really good quality, high def video. Does great. I mean, God, I recorded sound for an hour and 20 minutes at one time on that thing. It didn't work. Okay, the, um, we can tell the people at LG who don't listen to us. Nobody listens to us. Um, there's a problem with the Samsung, the LG, every cell phone out there that's an Android. That basically they're selling high def, uh, you know, recording. Uh, actually, it's not just Android. It's it's. Um the equipment's recording on high def. Yeah. High def by nature because we shoot a lot of video, right? And you want to record good quality sound. Well, what happens on the sound, if the chips are too, they're not fast enough and the chip will, well, they'll leave, all of a sudden it will stop recording. Mm -hmm. So you can't and, have that. And we've noticed that because, for example, we recorded, say, a three minute piece and we only had two minutes of audio. Yep. Yeah. But we had three minutes of video. I know. Right? The and that not happened just once, it happened multiple times. And the video continued to run but no audio because the chip was not uh, the chip was not fast enough to capture all of the sound on that we were doing at the same time. But then we corrected that problem by putting two faster chips in. Mm -hmm. So because most of these things most people don't realize there is a, an external and an internal chip. And the internal chip is basically got off for cheap, as is the external chip. So we replaced the chip. We replaced the chips, and we the, the, when we when we got these things, like I said, we had dead problems. She went out and recorded stuff. We had no sound. We had a picture, but no sound. But then the picture started to tear, tear out of it too. Mm -hmm. We went to the beach, and we were testing these things out, and then we lost sound again. I lost mm -hmm. sound, and then I did another time. I'm recording, we're practicing here, trying to figure out what's going on. I lost the sound, I just had it on, the sound died out after about eight, nine minutes. And, and then we put a bit faster ship in, and the next time we did it for like an hour. The main reason we understand all of this is because we work with video as well as photo so often. And with a photo, for example, when we're doing batch shooting or panoramas, we've yeah. discovered that the faster the chip you have, the more full, the fuller the battery you have, yeah, it's, um, the better you shoot panoramas. Yeah, and um, it, it's just, uh, it, it's people don't get that message. I mean, like, try to find fast chips. These are micro SDs. Try to find a fast micro SD card. You can't find them anymore because they basically stopped selling them. Yeah, and, and part of it is we're looking, so we're going to the different stores looking for the fast chips. We know what we're looking for, and sometimes, for example, we use um, a fast tip chip for the tablet, yeah. which we can also use for the cell phones, because most of the times people go, oh, there's a micro SD card that shows a mobile phone, so I'm going to go ahead and get that, and it's typically a class 2, which to many of you doesn't really mean a thing, but it has to do with how fast it writes to the chip. Yeah, I, I, I told a person that, and they said, you're full of it, and they said, you know, what do you do for a living? He said, well, I write. He said, well, I use the bloody cameras all the time. I know what the, what you have to have, because they're, they're sitting there, you know, the guy's a writer for, like, one of the publications. He's going with his little cell phone, they, they, thinking he, a uh, damn thing, took a crappy picture. I told him the reason why it took a bad picture is because your chip in the thing is, 
is too, if you're wanting a high def picture, they're not qualified to shoot high def with a class two. It won't work in it, high It just def. doesn't work as well. You get better pictures, you get better video, better audio with the 3D cameras. Both of these are 3D players and cameras. It will not function right with and a class two. We will tell you that 3D does require more um, or actually a faster speed than does regular high def. That's right. And other people are going, well, wait a minute, that doesn't. Well, we also understand this because we've seen with our cameras as well as our video the difference. For example, when I was shooting some pictures, I couldn't shoot as long of a video when I had the cheaper chips. Yeah. Remember, I just like, it's like, this is, I, I bought a chip, it was at a good price, and I bought it, and I'm like, ah, I can only shoot 15 seconds of video. Yeah. I changed the chip, and I can shoot as long as I want. Right, it's, it's the same mm -hmm. thing. That is, a, that is a big Panasonic 3D camera behind us that basically can work off of basically plugging a drive unit into it mm -hmm. or a chip. When you, we can put what is supposed to be a similar chip in that camera, but it's a slower speed, and it does not work. We, t we tend to have more problems with it, and those problems are, well... This, no, they're the same problems that hits this. Oh, actually, it is really similar. Exactly the same problems that hit it, because uh, uh, what happens is is that it, it, it basically saves into an ACVH, I think, whatever form. ABCHD. But what happens is, because it is so slow, because the older chips were so slow, it changes the nature of the download. And it can't be downloaded as it was before. You basically, as we found out on the pictures, you have to change the, na the 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 file name of the pictures in order to get them to download. Yeah, that was another thing we found so out. So it's just um. So. But and one of the other things that my sister discovered, actually, she went on a trip to Antarctica, and so she got all excited. I bought some chips, and I'm going on my trip to Antarctica. And I said, Well, did you buy class ten chips? She said. You know, I was trying to talk to her, and she said, well, I already bought my chips. And it's like, I know what I'm doing. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. I said, but I work with this all the time. No, it's okay. She went on her trip. This is a trip of a lifetime. She was so frustrated. Was it was really cold because you're in Antarctica, and she's shooting pictures of penguins. Yeah. She could only shoot like 10 seconds of video at a time. Because the chip was... In Plus, it was cold. And the chip. The chip was not, uh, the chip was not able to handle things. You have to have... The fast chip also, okay, we can tell you, we use, we have a fast chip in a camera, a Sony and what, NEX? NEX. And basically, I can click off 2,000 straight pictures with that mm -hmm. camera. Only with the fast chip, though. The mm -hmm. chip, if you take the chip that they recommend, damn, they won't do more than about 20 And it will take pictures, people looking at us going, you're doing what? And then they look at her going, wait a minute, that is... It, it flies because you hold, you sit there and you hold the trigger down. It's the chip that's in it, a, a, a full battery, like these things here. Okay, like I said, the difference between an Android and a smartphone is really it shows up in the battery life. Well, it did, but now since the battery dies on a new iPhone badly, you know, mm -hmm. now the Android and the thing are even with them. These things here, they will god off will eat your battery up. Well, one of the things that we discovered on these smartphones is. Um, we actually do have extra batteries. We have five batteries. Yeah. Um, oh, plus the original two. So I guess we have seven batteries between two cell phones. Yeah. And yeah. the yeah. Android Task Killer does help them up, help help some. One of the things I've discovered when you, if you look at people in. is when you've gone to major trade shows, you know, like it was at E3, and people are taking. <laughs> They don't always have extra batteries, but when I usually see them, I see them with power cords to plug into the wall. And it's, <laughs> I'm almost laughing because it somehow seems that more of the people with Androids are carrying extra power plugs because yeah. it eats up the battery, whereas the people with iPhones tend to have broken screens. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, but uh, like we, we did go, we, we basically found an outlet at one trade show and another guy and I were sitting there and the people, how long are you going to be there? We have to charge our cell phones. They said, well... You know, then we're both looking at, oh, we're going to be here for a while. There's like 60-some percent charge in them. Mm -hmm. And um, this thing here, okay, when I unplug this at night, I can, I, I know, at 100 percent, about 10 hours later, I, I can be off 13, 20 percent in those 10 hours. Mm -hmm. Where basically, theoretically, nothing is running, but everything is running because you actually can't kill all the apps at one time. You have to end up, the task killer will kill a bunch of them. But my guess is, if I turn it back on, show you how bad this thing is. Um, 
and I I go over to applications and it comes up on a new batch see mm -hmm. you know, it, it, you know that's how it works. Every time I, I go to off, it just adds, it turns other apps on. Mm -hmm. So it's always draining the battery because you can't turn off all the apps. So I don't know if they're turning them on on us or whatever, but that is a problem with the settler's smartphone. Well, I've, you see some of those commercials and they'll say, I have an app for that, and I have an app for that. Or you see iPhone app for different things. There are apps or applications um, mm -hmm. for a lot of these things. They are. Um, Optimized for opt um, opti the mobile screen. I know for mobile screen, uh, which I thought was amazing because um, um, we got there. Okay, say this is the size of uh, they'll give you the size of the screen. You actually had the for the bloody size of the screen, optimize it for that. And the tablets also have an optimization, and the iPads and the iPhones each one has a different optimization. So uh, what is optimized for this, you know, bar barely works on this one. And what is optimized for this is not optimized for the tablet because there is no, there is no continuity between anybody. But like they said, um, okay, we're going to put this is, this is an iPhone with its apps. This is an uh, Android with apps. Guess what can be put on, what, what you can open up on a PC. With that, that you can't do with a PC on this one. What well, you can open up an Android. You can a oh, the PC can open up Apple apps on it, where an, oh, Apple, can? an Apple cannot open an Apple computer cannot open up an Android app. I didn't know you could open up an Apple app. Yeah, but remember what the guy was talking about about the fact that the problem that we can we can actually open up, you know, the Android they Apple work? stuff. Yeah, they were opening them up on the PC because uh, basically it's it's nothing more than a link. Wow. If an app is a link, so you can you can push the link. Whereas if you know you take that Android app and put it over on an Apple computer, it doesn't. You can't. Yeah, even I'm do wondering it. if I could do it with my Android, where you go to the the download or iPhone app. Um, no. Huh. No. No. It, 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 you can. It said if the you can do it with a PC. Oh, I wonder if you could do it with a tablet. No. See, I mean, those no, are all those questions that we just answered. There's a difference. Um, this is an iPhone. This is meant to be compatible with nothing on earth except Apple products. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Which is why the Apple company suffered its first loss in the last 10 years. Is because, the, uh, like, I, I was a, I'm an original Apple user because I know, I mean, I've got, really got a nice little Apple thing that's in storage at the moment because I couldn't upgrade it. But it's, it's really magnificent looking. It's, um, uh, you can't use it for anything but Apple. Totally. It is totally unusable for anything but Apple. And Apple, basically what happened was there wasn't enough programming for it, so you were limited to the programming that you could use on it. And you have to plug everything into it, an Apple device. You do. It doesn't carry enough memory. I mean, it's got awful short on memory, folks. I mean, okay, uh, this is an Apple. This is an Android. We can, start, we can do twice as much memory as you can on this thing. Because it's all there is no chips. There you can't you can't take a chip out of this one. 